This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. My students. All right. Try out new skills on these challenges. So A through G, I guess. If you're my students, we're doing all of them. Boom. Let's start with A and I'll just go through. All right. Someone has submitted a bug report. Can you fix it? Paragraph font size should be 24. Paragraph font is the default. All right. So we need this to be 24. Now, first thing I'm going to check. I know it's styling, so I know it's in this CSS file. Now, is it linked, though? Well, let's see here. On line four, in between the head and the head tag. Yep. So this looks correct to me. Link, R-E-L, re uh, relationship. It's a style sheet. Yep, there's quotes. That's good. Uh, hypertext reference, or H-R-E-F. Yep, and there's quotes. Style sheet.css. And the style sheet is named style.css. So that's all good. Let's go look at our style sheet. Up, oh, and I see pink, which means air. Now, font size, huh? Let's see if they have some more info over here. If not, there's another way to go about this. Yep, it could have turns pink. So what I want to know right now is why. Now, I don't want to space here. That actually isn't going to work. You don't want to space in CSS, at least not in the name of things like this. Now, what you can use and what you will see in CSS is a hyphen, or maybe you call it a dash, maybe you call it a minus sign. Boom. Now, if I put that there, another way to figure this out, if you aren't sure, I could go above that pink area, let's say this is still broken, and hit enter and start typing font, and I can get a list of recommendations. Oh, that's how it should be. And this would only work, of course, if you know the first part of it, but I can just click from their list. But there we are. If yours isn't updating, refresh and save. Formatting, usually you would have an enter right here, line break, but you don't need to. Works either way. Onward. All right, about the author. And here we are. Paragraph color is gray. Paragraph color is black. All right, so we need it to be gray. So it's style again. First thing I'm checking is this link, right? Line four, I need a link to the style sheet. Let's see if this is right. Link. R-E-L, yep, link, relationship, yeah, it should be a style sheet, herf, hypertext reference is style.css, yep, that's the name of the file. So that looks great. I could assume it looks good or it works because this is purple, right? This part of it's purple. So I could assume that part works. Now let me click on this other file, style.css. Let's see what's going on here. Background white, okay, H1, bold, color, purple. Also, that is working. Now wait a minute color gray. Now, if you look at this paragraph tag, the rule set, or by the way, guys, this whole thing, line one to three, that's the rule set for body. Uh, four to seven, rule set for each one. Now, the paragraph rule set is missing something critical. Quapow, right? These little brackety things, I hope you yelled at me. So to do that, I'm going to put my mouse on line eight after the letter P, and this key is actually next to the letter P on the keyboard, but you have to hit shift. You don't want a square bracket, you want a curly one. So I hit shift. It auto fills in two, which is fine. I'm going to just delete that second one. So now I only have one and it's pretty grumpy at me. But I'm going to now go to line 10 and go ahead and do a closing one, which is shift and it's two keys to the right from the letter P. Boom. And how I know it worked, my text is gray. Refresh and save. Bam and bam. Onward. All right, let's keep it going. Tips to go green. Heading color is green. Heading color should be... Okay, so it's currently black. Let's see. Link, stop. relationship is style sheets, file name is style.css, href. Yep, all of that looks good. So let's hold it over here. Now, ah, uh, I see an issue. So the rule set, and a rule set line one to three would be the paragraph rule set. It should look something like this. You need to have curly brackets. But if we look at our heading rule set, the person was close, but nope. And so I hope you're yelling about the brackets. The brackets you need, I'm going to go ahead and delete on line four after the H1 tag, is they are next to the letter P, but you have to hold shift. These are called curly brackets or curly braces. So now on line four, I held shift, hit the letter next to the letter P, and hit the key. And now it gave me a closing one too. I'm going to delete that because I just want the opening. I'm now heading to line seven and going to add a closing one. Pow. If yours doesn't update, hit refresh and save. On. All right. Debug the missing styles. Let's see what we got here. 
Ooh, bunch of stuff. Heading one color is black. Yep. Okay. So they should be heading one is blue. H2 is green. Paragraph is 12. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the style.css. You might notice something in the previous few times I pointed something out first, but let's look at style.css. Well, what the heck? Everything's fine, right? This is the color they wanted. Let me test. Red. It doesn't even do anything. I'll undo that. Huh. What could be going on? So guys, if you're looking at a style or a CSS file and you're like, wait, that looks really, really good. Cool. What I would check always first then, and I have been, is the index.html. It doesn't matter if you have magic, unicorns, high fives, and cuddles in your style CSS. If you do not tell the HTML file where it's at, it has no idea this exists. Computers need to be told things. So after line three, right, and before line four, at the end of line three, I'm going to hit enter. And so under the line that just says head and above the line that is slash head, I need to put the style sheet uh, tag. And to do that, I'm going to, on line four, do a less than sign. I'm going to type a link, L-I-N-K. I hit space, and I just need to type in R-E-L, which is a uh, relationship. And the relationship, I'm going to hit equals. And in quotes, this is a style sheet. All right, make sure you do style sheet, not just style. And style sheet is S-T-Y-L-E-S-H-E-E-T. -E -E no space in there. Now I'm going to go behind this second quote and hit space again. Now I'm going to do H and then REF for hypertext reference. I'm going to hit equals. And now I can actually just click the little drop down. You can do this sometimes. This works like professional software and it auto filled in style.css. That is the name of my file. Last thing I got to do is close this with a greater than sign. Quapow. How do I know I did it right? I see the styles. You might have to hit refresh and save. Onward. This is looking great. All right. Add a heading rule set. So let's make sure link real style sheet style.css. That all looks good. Add a rule set for heading. Okay. So a rule set, guys, they already gave us one. I clicked on the style.css file is line one through three. That's a body rule set because we name, we say what tag we're targeting. We do curly brackets. And then on each line, we specify what should be, uh, what element we want to style or how. I mean, how we want to style each element. All right, so now I'm going to online four rule set for the heading. I guess, let me head back over here, H1. So I'm thinking they mean the elephants. So I'll go for H1 on line four in the CSS page. If you are not in the CSS page, if you're in index.html, stop it. You got to go to style, that's CSS. On line four, I typed H4. Now I'm going to hold the shift key and click the key next to the letter P. Boom, curly brackets. Now I'll hit enter and I have a space. So I have a curly bracket, curly bracket on line six, on line five, um, I get to do whatever I want now. So I'm going to type the word color. Notice that you can click for the autofill semicolon, right? If you didn't get it autofilled, the semicolon, you would want to hold shift and the key next to the letter P. I'll do red. And I don't know. Oh, I'm going to take their advice here. You see how they have background? I'll write that now. Background colon. Um, what goes good with me? Yellow? No, that'd be pretty ugly, right? Light blue? Is that a good? Let's see. It worked. All right. Now, at the end of each of these, like line five, it ends with a semicolon. So does line six. So each time you give a style, right, you're referencing a style, make sure to semicolon it off. If yours isn't shown, refresh and save. Onward. Let's keep the party going. Add a paragraph rule set. Okay, similar to last time, first line four, yep, link, reference, and yep, hypertext. So we should be pros at this by now. Do not be in your HTML file. I got to click way over here on style.css. Style.css, a rule set, line one to three is a rule set. That's the body rule set. I'm going to kind of do the, the easy way. I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to click the control C on my keyboard or control C on a Mac or Command-C on a Mac. You could also right-click Copy. I'm going to hit Enter, and now on line 4, I'm going to hit Control-V on Windows, or Command-V on Mac, or I could right-click Paste. Now, I need this for a paragraph. I know the paragraph tag is P, and let's see, background, um, pink. And let's see, I'm going to hit Enter, and I'll do 
color because color is actually just font color that will do it uh sure blue semicolon semicolon is next to the l key make sure you have a colon after each property so color is a property colon that's next to the l key if you'll shift and then after after i use a value here i do a semicolon which is next to l as well this is looking good to me onward and finally add a style sheet all right here is an opportunity to be creative and practice everything you've learned add a style sheet and rule sets yikes get ready all right so to do this i'm gonna go ahead and click on add css only click this thing once click and there we go it's called new.css which is confusing all right so i'm gonna do what they have actually first i'm gonna show you something uh sure let's go ahead and to test this guys i'm gonna change the body background just for now to red oh wait why isn't it working mr kaiser we have added it correctly go to index.html line three we have a head tag and a closing head tag we must tell the computer how to or where to find style stuff so i'm going to do what i have been doing put the cursor at the end of line three hit enter now on my blank line four before the slash head tag i'm going to do less than sign and i need link right the word link l-i-n-k space r-e-l equals and then i'm going to put a quote and now inside of this what is this called it's called a style sheet no caps or anything and now i have a closing quote i'm going to hit plus hypertext reference which i type in href equals and now i'm going to do style i'm lying here this is wrong dot css why is this wrong because i know we did a red background it's not showing what's going on this right here style.css is the file's name so we have two options i could write new here and boom might have to hit refresh my styles are applied because now the computer knows oh new.css however it is traditional to have style.css be the name of a style sheet especially if you're only using one for that page and so i will leave this and instead i'm going to go over here click on this arrowy thing and click rename just going to put the word style i'll leave it like this because we need it to have .cs and i'm going to hit enter boom all right add a style and rule sets I like the background red. Ooh, paragraph color. Mm, blue. Uh, font weight bold. Okay. I'm gonna just what else can I do here? Uh paragraph colors blue. Oh, what's what else is on this page? H3. Ooh. Uh color orange. Yeah, yeah. Semicolon. Cool. And background um, blue. Cool. What else? Did they just give us all these tags? Look what they did. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of do it easy. I'm gonna highlight this copy because I'm just gonna do a bunch of stuff. I guess you can do what you want. Uh, let's do, this one will be my H2. That will be H4. And I'm gonna put my H2 uh, purple. Ah, they used an H5. I'm more worried about, I'm gonna do that. Boom. And you can keep going if you want, but you get the point. Fancy dancy. Oh, I want that. Hey, <laughs> onward. 